You know what I like to talk about? Things that I do not like. Now, you may be asking, what is the topic of today's video on things that I do not like? Well, what if I told you there were these groups of people that are very dumb, they are very <laughs> stupid, and very uncomfortable and not fun to be around, and are quite potentially some of the hugest gatekeepers of all time. Welp, you don't have to imagine those people, because they already exist. They are people who trivialize others' pain. Okay, now, these people you may have came across at some point in your life, and I think they're, we can pretty much, for the most part, universally agree that uh, they are very bad. And they need the fucking stop. Now, but now they do come in various shapes and sizes and forms. And we're going to be start on the ones that are mainly just annoying. And then progressively get on to the ones that are just huge scumbags. Okay, now here's the first type that you guys have probably came across before. Now, like most people, you've... For you've had parents that have cooked a dinner for you, and this is a scenario that is uh, very common to come across. Let's just say you're eating some food, and then yeah, it doesn't taste very good. Then you more than likely either spit it out, or I don't know, but you'd probably say something along the lines of, Wow, this food really does not taste very good. And then there's another person, most more than likely your mom, and they say something uh, quite... Possibly along the lines of, well, there are kids in Africa that would love this food. Now, uh, I think it's pretty easy to understand why that's pretty stupid, because, well, the part, not everyone's gonna like your fucking food, and two, the kid also probably isn't, more than likely isn't a kid from Africa, so there's, that you're trying to just run there, but, yeah, also... The, the taste buds aren't exactly the same for those types of people. Now, again, th this is the first type that I decided to talk about here because they're not really doing any harm. They're just really annoying. But now, let's move on to the people that are legitimately fucking scummy. Starting with this type. So, let's say you uh, ended up doing something like you ended up doing something maybe not stupid but let's just say you've had a series of unfortunate events that have led to you maybe breaking some part of your body and then you outwardly say something like ah my fucking back it hurts i nearly broke my back and then you have that one person who just says something along the lines of well your back may hurt, but have you realized that there are people that have died before? Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever s maybe stopped thinking about yourself for once and maybe thinking about what other people are going through? You're not experiencing any pain at all. Stop being so selfish and consider other people's pain. Okay, now there's a couple reasons why that, that statement is very flawed. And <laughs> let's go by the first reason. Number one, what are you trying to accomplish? No, seriously, like, what are you trying to fucking accomplish? Like, someone literally fucking broke their back, and the first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, uh, I, I don't care if they're dealing with pain, uh, uh, there are people that have had it worse, so if they've had it worse, then this person has no reason to complain or uh, talk about how ba bad their back hurts. And that ironically leads to number two. What is that fucking logic? If one if one person has it worse than another person, then that other person that experiences something less painful just isn't experiencing that type of pain. I mean, I'm sure a falcon punch would hurt worse than a bitch slap, but that doesn't mean the bitch slap has no effect or is incapable of causing pain to you. And here's the third reason why that is really bad logic. So, let's say you're what you're saying is right. Let's just say that, yeah, there are other people that have had it worse than this person that broke their back. 
doesn't change the fact that they're still experiencing pain and experiencing breaking a part of a vital part of their body. I cannot fucking stand these types of people because not only are they over trivializing the fuck out of someone's pain, but they're also gatekeeping pain at the same time. Because take a listen, what they're literally saying is, "Oh, you you're going through pain." Well, uh, other people have it worse, so you are incapable of going through pain unless the pain you're going through is on the same level as those people. You know, dumb, really bad logic. And uh, to these people that continuously do this without fail, and just people that do this in general, stop overly trivializing what pain, what people are going through. Yes, there are people that are going through worse right now, but that does not mean that those that the people you're saying that to aren't going through pain. So, how about you? It's ironic that you that you tell these people that they should stop and think about what other people are going through. Well, how about you maybe take a step back and think about what this person's going through right now and you know, maybe just maybe focus on the fact that they're maybe maybe their back is hurting, you know, a vital, a vital part of their body and is and it's potentially broken. Yeah, how about or better yet, here's a better solution. Uh just shut the fuck up about this. People can go through pain and not have it be the most extreme things ever. Okay, now, if you thought that was bad, now let's move on to people who literally trivialize tragedies. <laughs> yep, you heard me right. There are even people that trivialize tragedies and people actually dying. Now... There is one main example that I would like to bring up in regards to this, and uh, it's it was done by someone by the name of Neil deGrasse Tyson. Now, this was uh, maybe a year or a couple years back, but really doesn't change that what he what he did was really distasteful and just sickening. Just take a look at this tweet. He talks about a school, a recent school, sh well, a recent at the time school shooting that happened, and then goes on to bring up statistics of other bad tragedies that have happened to people or things that are done that have happened, and then he uh, he caps off the tweet by saying, "You know, our emotions really bring out our the emotions are put forth before statistics." Now. <laughs> These statistics here, he, he, he's bringing up are not necessarily wrong, but just like that thing I said about with the with the person trivializing someone's back being hurt, really doesn't change the fact that uh people lost their lives in a fucking school shooting. Why the fuck do you have to bring this up, or why did you feel the need to? And and again, like with that one. Yes, there could be potentially worse situations that have happened before the school shooting happened, or around the same time. But that doesn't mean that this school shooting is just not as bad. And, you know, what? speaking of the school shooting stuff, let's just say, um, imagine being one of, the pe one of the people's family members, or, you know, the kids or the people that ended up dying in the shooting. Imagine being one of their uh, being one of their family members, and then they go on the Twitter and then find this tweet saying, <laughs> uh, "Yeah, uh, there there are people that have had it worse than the kids in the school shooting." So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys really just need to stop making a big deal about this. But yeah, the the the, the shit is genuinely irritating and just very fucking distasteful and. <laughs> A uh, really nice way to fucking stand on their graves, Neil. A uh, very, very classy move by you. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say for this video. Uh, yes, and, yeah, like the title says, I do think that people who trivialize pain are a waste of human life. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say. See you guys.